right, let's take a look at the last objective of the, uh, uh, of the unit on uh, corded geometry. This is G, G, P, E, B, 7. This reestablishes perimeters and areas, but now we're on the coordinate grid. So we're going to look at different techniques to finding perimeter and area based off of our use of maybe the distance formula or other techniques to find some of these things out. And just to use a, a wide variety. Now, even though we've covered this before, it, it is a different look at it because we're on the coordinate grid. We may look at other shapes other than polygons and estimating area a little bit here. And just some uh, new techniques because we are now dealing with shapes that have vertices that are coordinates and can work with those. So just maybe to talk briefly of some of those techniques. Um, one of those techniques is Heron's formula, uh, which is quite a unique formula. Heron's formula, and basically it allows you to take the coordinates of your, uh, or take your distance of the three sides and calculate the area without knowing an actual height. Very cool uh, formula and uh, fun to use. Another thing, of course, uh, if we're on the coordinate grid, if we have, you know, this kind of thing, we can find our height and multiply it by base and, and divide it by two. But we can also do things like if you had a, a triangle that was like this, you could use a box te technique for area, which would enclose that triangle in a box. And what you could do is you could find the easier regions. Those three regions are all right triangle, uh, right triangle, so it's easy to find their area subtract that from the total box or total rectangle and you will be left with what's in it. A nice way to do it when you are not horizontal or vertical. The other technique is called shearing. I won't spend much time on it. It's a very cool technique. It's not a new technique by any means. Uh, it is a technique that allows you to find area by changing the shape. Let me give you just the basic idea of it. Here is a triangle here. Now, we may not like to find the area of this because our base here, uh, our height is out here somewhere. Students do not like heights that are outside. And so the idea of shearing is to travel um, in, a hor in a parallel line, a parallel plane, uh, along there until you get to somewhere you like. So maybe you want to go along here until you stop directly above it and then you get this thing. Now this thing might be easier for you to calculate because its base and its height are perpendicular at this stage. The area is the same because notice the base did not change, the height did not change, so the area did not change. So shearing is a cool technique for uh, altering the shape but not the area. Euclid used this many years ago to establish one of the most famous proofs of the Pythagorean theorem.